and guys here we are back up with uh, both my small turbines as you can see there's practically no wind today at all that's the Mark 3 treadmill motor turbine back on the pole yesterday as per the previous video all right and because of the length of the blades which are a meter long sticking over quite nicely in um, what is only just about a breeze what sort of speed are we getting yeah not a lot about 65 rpm all right down at the um, business end let's see what we're getting there on the end of the uh, on the end of the wire coming out of the um, motor okay here I am testing out my um, DC step up voltage regulator module purchased off eBay for £15 you can see some of the spec there um, except an input voltage range from um, 3.5 to 40 volts outputs 5 to 55 volts and should handle about 3 amps now the advantage of this is that obviously when you're running at low wind speed you're not getting the voltage you want uh, here's the voltage going in okay and this is the voltage I'm currently getting out no smoke and mirrors voltage in voltage out obviously the 28 volts is going to be at significantly less current but the point is I'm managing to use some very low wind speed um, rather than just chucking that energy away altogether so um, I'll complete this video by showing it hooked up to a charge controller there we are again only three and a half volts in and that motor can supply about seven and a half amps voltage out 28 which will charge the battery bank okay started to drop there because the turbine is almost stationary all right 3.6 volts 28 so fix check on the turbine and as you can see it's barely spinning at all she's doing yeah about 60 rpm and there really is there's no wind very very little wind here all right next thing is charge controller and then let's see if we can measure some current coming through it okay here we see this is the same setup as the other day meter on the right um, is the voltage coming in from the DC treadmill motor voltage on the left is the output from the DC DC voltage converse, um, converter module which has now been put into a waterproof enclosure slightly better wind today very blustery though, let's see what happens um, now at the other end with the uh, charge controller having stepped up the voltage with the uh, regulator module up by the turbine we come down the wire which is 2.5mm uh, flex and into the controller unit charging. Now the problem with this is the battery is in uh, or charge is in float mode at the moment. So without running my batteries down I'm going to go for a crude test. Um, I'm just going to put a 70 watt bulb across the output from that lot. Okay and uh, put the ammeter in series with it and see how much current we're actually getting moment it's difficult to tell. So it's not very much but we're getting about where well you can see the meter this is amps we're measuring. I'm using um, a 70 watt 24 volt truck bulb as a load. So we're getting about maybe about 0.6 of an amp at 28 volts. So roughly 15 watts that that's power that otherwise I wouldn't have had um, and there's very 
very little wind. Let's quickly pan round to the turbine. And as you can see, it's ticking over. So normally, to charge that battery, that would have to be running, or to put out any power at all, that would have to be running about six times faster. So I think I'll persevere with this for a while and see what it does under higher wind and then maybe post a different video showing the output. So um, at sort of 200 plus RPM I'd be hoping to get the full maybe 3 amps, 2.5 amps running flat out when it furls, definitely getting the 3 amps at 28 volts, which isn't a huge amount of power but a couple of those is enough to uh, keep this battery bank trickle charged.